Hey guys, so this is gonna be just a really, really, really quick video on something that I've been noticing more in my local grocery store, and if you don't have one of these sections, I'm really sorry that this doesn't apply to you. Something that I've noticed more and more while grocery shopping is that, at least in my grocery store, there are several discounted sections throughout the store. And if that's the case for you too, just pay attention to what's there. I used to just kind of walk past that and be like, ew, discounted food, that's really gross. <laughs> it's a little bit different every time I go grocery shopping, but there are things like one day I went in and there was like a whole cart of discounted bread. The expiration dates, because I checked with bread that was kind of like next to it that wasn't discounted, the expiration dates were the exact same. And it was just like, not even like squished, but just like it had been jostled around a little bit more than the other bread. Like the plastic wasn't as pristine. And as opposed to like a couple bucks a loaf, it was 99 cents. So I got bread, I got bagels. What I like to do is get a little bit more than maybe I need and just freeze what I'm not gonna use that week. And then you have it for the next couple weeks. And at a discount. Ooh, ooh. Near the bakery, there's usually discounted bread that's like a day old bread. It's like a little over a dollar usually because they make it there, but it's super good, still like soft, and no mold or anything. You can check uh, all sides of the bread if you're worried about that. And then the last thing, which I think might be new, but maybe I'm just mistaken and I've never noticed it before, is they have discount produce. Oh, can I get a help? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is where it gets a little bit sketchy though. You really have to examine the produce before you buy it because, and I think maybe I'm just an extra snob about it because I worked on a produce farm for maybe like six or seven summers. A lot of the stuff in that section I do pass up because there are a lot of like super soft peppers and cucumbers and stuff like that that you don't really want to eat anyway. But there are some really good options there. Like I found a couple of saran wrap bunches of bananas that were perfectly fine. They weren't even like spotty yet or anything. They were just bruised. And also I found like a huge bag of broccoli that was perfectly fine. It was like 25 cents. And broccoli is probably one of the most expensive produce items that I buy weekly. So that was really nice. They're just something to look out for. I'm definitely buying more discount stuff in the future. Just know what to look for and you'll be fine. Free stuff if you're not gonna use it right away because it really can shave several dollars off your grocery bill each week. I know some like areas of the country have like discount grocery stores, like the whole grocery store is discounted, which I don't think we have any around here because I live in the sticks, obviously. But if that's an option for you, check out that. That's it for me for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like, dislike, whatever. And I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye! Oh, it's so cold out here. <gasps> so cold. Hey guys. Ooh, this is cute or really ugly. Rustic, New Hampshire. Arr, it's a terrible idea. It's so cold. It's so loud here. I hate traffic. And by traffic, I mean two roads. Hey guys. So, whoa, that was a little too, a little too chipper.